Zboid Games presents New Arcadia 1922 The startling developments agency is aptly named through a combination of dumb luck, vague prophecy and the occasional uh, murder they are killing gods left and right. Tycho Erasmus Brahe, son of Tycho er Emeritus Brahe, has inherited his family's penchant for destruction of the entire universe. The trouble is that everyone else keeps trying to do it first. He likes long walks on the beach, eldritch weaponry and oblivion. Jonathan Gabriel is... Well... He's Gabe. They have sought and finally secured the Necro Wumikan, a loaf of incredible mystical wisdom for everyone but them. Which brings us to Dr. Blood, whose piercing gaze and timely appearance in the narrative mark him as a man to watch. And with that, I welcome you to Let's Play Penny Arcades on the Rain Slick Precipice of Darkness, Episode 3. I am the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric, and we recently played through the Episode 2. And now, as you can tell, there's a, a difference in the art style, in the presentation of the game, and obviously in the gameplay. Now we are playing through a JRPG with an, well, with a pixel art style. I, it, it doesn't matter if I uh, talk about the game mechanics right now, I can just show you by clicking the new game button. I've already checked out the options menu, the only thing I have left to do is move this window over to my left screen. And now it's a little bigger for me and we can begin a new game. Join me on this journey, will ya? We can play on normal, easy, veteran or insane. I don't think I'll be playing on insane or ve veteran. I'll be playing on normal. Not too hard, not too easy. The difficulty can be changed in-game via the quit menu. Everyone looks like they're supposed to. Costumes may be changed in-game. Gender swap. Alright. Furry. Undead. Oh. Oh god. Gabe feels pretty. Oh, so pretty. Let your inner animal out. Tycho looks like the Lion King. Brains. I'm gonna play with the regular pictures. When two gods wait on the windowsill, the weak of the world is burning still. But when one god in triumph shouts, the candle of the world goes out. A quartet for the Dusk of Man, Tycho Ephraimus Brahe. The startling developments detective agency is never especially clean, but then neither is its line of work. Souvenirs of past cases line the back wall, their stories wait to be told. Hungry! Hungry! Not now, Gabriel, we must stare at this phone. Man, do you remember when we used to do things that were awesome? Punching things, killing gods, man, shit used to be wild. That was last week. Really? Yes. Startlingly, the phone in the startling development agency begins to ring. Ah! Tycho grabs the phone and begins to talk while Gabe jumps up and down. Yes? Uh-huh. You don't say. Time passes in this way. Grave knots interspersed with knowing grins. Tycho hangs up the phone. Who was it? A new case? Ten full minutes of silence. Then why didn't you hang up? Didn't want to be rude. Moreover, this was no ordinary silence. This, uh, that silence was dripping. Dripping with meaning and boiling with rich undercurrents of hidden context. Context. And a hint of 
I think coriander. Anyway, there's some meaning in that uh, and context up in this. Of this, we may be certain. We should bring a recording of it to my genius niece and Claire for analysis. You got a phone conversation of silence. Wow. You sure about this? Could be just a prank call. Absolutely certain. With every taut fiber of my being. Maybe. Run mode is now activated. Yeah, that's a little better. Look at this, I can't take that. That's the Necrowoomicon. Source of so much turmoil, the Necrowoomicon rests silently on the desk. Its pages bear no trace of the recent plots. They are entirely clean. Each page is as white as a blizzard in a wedding gown. A blizzard in a wedding gown. Gabe remembers punching a much larger version of this. He wishes he could punch that big one again. Alas, you can never go home. In their second outing, in as many weeks, the Necrowoomicon was again at the quiet core of a whirling mystery. This mystery culminated, as they so often do, in a battle with a gigantic robot who was the very avatar of violation. <laughs> He really was. Obviously, the giant robot was bad. It was made worse by the fact that it had been constructed by an unwitting mortal to act as the earthly shell of Yokathak, god of mechanism. Our heroes managed to defeat it with the help of the incredibly weird Dr. Blood, whose arrival was no accident. Taiko picks up the memento of glory's past and it allows himself a moment of reflection. It was only two weeks ago that the wheels really started to come off this universe, cosmologically speaking. The first sign was the reveal of a mime cult in service to Yogg Sethis, god of silence. Spurred by the Necrowoomicon, a mysterious book whose contents change depending on the reader, the cult made a play for the Pelican Bay Boardwalk. Presumably they would have moved on from there, but who knows. Tygo, Gabe and a mysterious third party smashed the cult, obliterated their god and set a terrible clock into motion. Prior to the incident, Jim had tons of flesh. Loads and loads of it. It covered his bones completely. Those were good times. You know, with all the skin. That's our little robot in a jar. An eclectic selection crowds the corner. Books of ap apocalyptic recipes and packed suitcases lie in wait. On the table, a, pro a prototype harvest buddy tinks against the glass prism. Instead of reading every single piece of dialogue here, which I can do, there's something for every fucking thing. I, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna follow the main storyline now. While on the new Arcadia map, you may only travel to unlock, un unlock paths. Press the A button while on a node to enter new areas, trigger story sequences, shop and more. As you progress through the story, you will unlock additional paths and even greater adventure! I, I don't really have that much choice here, do I? I wonder what we do, what we would do without Anne Claire. Suffer, I suspect, inconsolably. No, for serious, we would be screwed on the real! Whenever we run into some shit, which, you know, kinda happens, it's always and clear this and clear that. She basically runs your agency. We should call it startling developments. Detective Clearsency. This is really hard. Come now, Gabriel. There have been many, many instances where my keen intellect has revealed the way forward. Oh yeah? Name one. Well, like the Acheline Quandra Quandary. The who? That magical puzzly box type thing. Doesn't count. Why not? I solved it. I just punched it until it broke open. Yes, you punched it. Under my close supervision.
In a hurry? No worries, hold the B button to run or press the back button to toggle between run mode and walk mode. Oh, I didn't know. Hiya! Gabe punches the wooden gate open. Ow, ow, splinters. Good uncle. Ultra knees, how goes the battle? Restless. After one has slain a god, one does develop a taste for it. I know the sentiment. Talk like normal people. I fear that my associate doth, doth tire of our elocutions. 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 Well, I, I can't say it. It is an adorable rage. Rah! Yes, like that. Just give her your dumb tape. Ah, yes. To the untrained ear, it sounds like nothing. It has no sound, but to the true eldritch enthusiast, it wallows in complexitas. And those like complex are those like complexities, or they're similar. And Claire accepts the recording, winding the new or the raw tape into the mouth of an entirely custom wooz-it-wad it wooz it who's it what's it Removing what looks like a phone receiver made from an old bell, she places it to her ear for several long moments. Then Ah, you were right to be suspicious, Uncle. This phone call was made from Pelican Bay. Indeed, but how? And Clear cranks a knob hard right. <laughs> Pelican Harbor, of course, the vile boardwalk, boardwalk, walk nightmare that was swarming with the silent ones, and the Mimi, Mimi's minions, fully two games ago. A mime must have called us, but why? What if it was just like a bird calling? His eyes grow wide, like an evil bird. That is way ridiculous, unlike all the incredible things I say, which are smart. To Pelican Bay! I shall accompany you, Uncle. But your studies, your physical and psychological well-being, your parents made your sa safety but my responsibility. No, they didn't. They specifically said, stay away from our daughter, you good-for-nothing brahi. I was paraphrasing. In any case, they are not here and I make my own decisions. And Claire has forced herself into your group. See? With clarity, child. And Claire has entrusted you with a duplicator, which with this thoroughly implausible device, items you use in one battle will be regenerated by the next fight. Right now the item duplicator only allows you to use a potion to heal and revive an ally once per battle, but by finding our, or purchasing uproids, you can use items multiple times in the same battle, improve their effects or unlock entirely new items. Pelican Bay has now been unlocked on your map. There it is. I'm gonna quickly take a sip of my water now. But do you now understand what I meant by, oh, the developer studio changed and the style of gameplay will be a little different? This is what it will be like for the next six or seven or eight hours you will be joining me. A lot of dialogue though. <clears throat> Press the Y button to open up the main menu. From here you can check out your stats, change your equipment, view your classes and abilities, look at your items, read a recap of the story so far and save and load your game. The game can be saved at any time outside of combat or story scene, so save often. Brute Scholar Genius Why is Anne clear at level 7? I saved. Pelican Bay. And now we're gonna have our first battle. 
The board the boardwalk has seen better days. It is ramshackle for real. It looks in danger of being reclaimed by the sea. Man, I thought this place was a shithole before. I, I man, I thought this place was a shithole before. Gabriel remembers Anne Claire. Looks around nervously. I I mean, a poop hole. Gabe approaches the entrance to the park, desperate for a change in topic. He spies a sequence of strange markings and seizes the opportunity. Oh, what's this strange magical writing? Wow, it's so crazy, hmm. It may be the Silent One's ancient language. I will attempt to translate. To enter Yon Park, please insert 20 blue tokens, 30 green tokens, 40 red tokens and 2,000 rainbow tokens. One random token may be acquired from each successful one. Carnival by game. What? No way. Sigh. No way. Sign. I, I, now I understand. He doesn't sigh. He, no, he says, no way, sign. I'm going home. And Claire stifles a laugh. Pay no heed to my niece. Gabriel, she's having a bit of fun at your expense. The script actually says, KILL EVERY NON-BELIEVER! Whew, okay, I was worried there. Many, but not all of your abilities in battle require MP to use. Your characters will each gain one MP every turn. MP isn't carried over from one fight to the next, so don't be afraid to use them. Enemies don't need MP to use their abilities, but don't underestimate them. Enemies get more powerful with each passing turn, so defeat them before it's too late. Do, 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 do. I have one MP. Nope. Do, do. Oh, that was it? That was quick. I expected them to be a little rougher. Full auto. Okay, that wasn't enough. All enemies have been defeated, all allies gain full HP, you gain 3 XP and 6 dollars. Look at that beautiful cashola. Trick shots. You find a duplicator upgrade, potion quantity up. You may now use potions one additional time in each battle. I also like the potion, like the item system, that you don't have a ton of usable items, but more like every um, every fight you have a couple of item charges. Oh. Bonus damage on turn one. You do. Heavy Holy Damage All. Strong Heal All. I'm gonna wait for Heavy Holy Damage All. And then do Full Auto with Tycho. I should have probably used that first Blood skill against the Mime here, because they appear to be a little stronger. Do-do-do-do. Ah, there it is. I'm not gonna heal all here. Light fire magic. You're gonna come to love this music. I hope. I would definitely hope. Ah, he resisted that, but this is gonna murder him. Yep. 7 experience, 12 dollars. I would hope that would that this fight gave more than the last one. I could just walk around that enemy? Yes, I can. But do I want to? Oh, there's a chest. I need that chest. 6! No! No, no! You don't understand. 
don't want bonus damage. This is gonna two full autos are gonna do it here. I don't need f more damage on the first floor uh, on the first. Ah, uh, but it would have gone a lot quicker because all these guys have to attack first. Do 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 do. Come on, Tycho, get a little stronger here. sucks. Can I? I cannot skip that animation, sadly. Oh, it's my turn. Do full auto again. That should kill them all. And I do want to do that. Kill them all. You are not going to be needed. You are not going to be needed. Yes, good. That's what I wanted to see. Six experience, twelve dollars. Level up! A brute is now level four and learns eager passive ability. A scholar is now level four and learns learns RTFM. Eager and RTFM. Um has not been unlocked yet. Eager, passive, speed bonus on first turn. That's good. 1 MP, light non-elemental non damage. Magic. Okay. Thermonuclear. That's pretty good, actually. I didn't see that before. If I push the B button now, I walk slowly. You do. This is gonna be the last fight before, um, before I end the episode here. First blood, super effective against the big clown with a big belly. Oh, those are a little bigger, just a tiny bit. They're about double man-sized robots, and the clown is three times the the size of a normal human being. That is fine, though. I think so. Do 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 do. Apparently, bigger is better at 100% power. It does tell you how much H uh, how much HP these guys have, which is nice. Do do. do 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 I have not missed yet. I don't remember if missing is possible. How many? All of them, yes! 10 experience and 18 dollars. Good. What is in here? 50 dollars. That, that must be good. That must be a good thing. So we'll stand on the sigil here. I'm gonna save the episode. Save right here. Pelican Bay. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you'll enjoy this series of On the Rain Slick Precipice of Darkness Episode 3. Until next time, bye-bye!